Okay, so it's finally time to try things out and find out what I got wrong. But before I do that, if you go to the handlers folder, I have one typo that I spotted before I tried this. This is the handlers.go file inside the authentication service. And in line 37 of my code, where I make that call to app.log request, for some reason, Visual Studio Code still not highlighting some of my errors. But I guess you get what you don't pay for. So I'll delete that W at the beginning because there is no response writer passed to log request down here. Okay, so that's our first mistake. Let's find out what else we got wrong. So make sure you're inside the project folder. So you should see the Docker compose and the make file right here. And let's type make up underscore build and see if everything builds. There's probably more typos in there somewhere. Well, I built them all, that's good. Okay, so Postgres, Mongo, and our three services have all started. That's promising. Now let's type make start to bring up our front end. Well, at least there's no typographical errors. Now let's go to our web browser and I'll go to localhost. Okay, so everything appears to be up and running. Let's try the broker first to make sure that still works. So we hit the broker, that's good. Let's try testing authentication. And we got our response back, which means it did in fact probably call the log service. Now let's try test log. And I got error fault message logged. Perfect. Okay, well, if that all worked, then I should have an entry inside of my Mongo database. I should probably have two entries at this point. And what we're gonna do is connect to our Mongo service. Now, if you don't have a Mongo client, this one will do the trick. It's a commercial product, but you can use it for free. They want you to have your Mongo database on their cluster. This is called MongoDB Compass, and there are lots of other Mongo clients out there. This one does the trick. So there's a link to this page in the course resources, and all you're going to do is make sure you choose the correct version and platform and package and download it and install it. And once you've done that, start it up, and we'll connect. So here, I already have it running, and we need to put the correct connection string in here. That's a pain to type. But we're going to go to mongodb slash slash, then, or colon slash slash, then we're going to put our username, which in our Docker Compose is admin, and the password is actually password, then at localhost 27017, and then we want to go to slash logs, which is the name of our database, and then I'm going to put a question mark, and then auth source, spelled exactly like that with a capital S equals admin ampersand read preference preference with a capital P equals primary then an ampersand then app name all lowercase equals mongo db percent 20 then compass then ampersand direct connection with a capital C equals true ampersand SSL equals false. Okay, now you may not need all of that, but it will actually get us there. So let's try that. Make sure we already have our Docker images running, so I should be able to connect. And I appear to be connected. So let's look at the databases. We're going to go to logs. But we're going to look at this. There are two documents in there. And there they are. We logged authentication and we logged some kind of data. So everything actually worked the first try. I am utterly shocked. I may go buy a lottery ticket. In any case, that's enough for this microservice. Let's move on to another one in the next section.